before going in there, I was a little anxious because I'm not used to a non-denominational church. I grew up in Baptist churches, but because this one was a little different, I didn't know what to expect. The name of the church is the Life Center, and I didn't really know what they meant by that, so it was good to you know get that clarified. Um, my parents aren't really big on letting me go to different churches and experience different things from different churches. They're really used to like a lot of traditional things, so it was just a little bit overbearing to have to do it. So it had been a few years since I had been to a church. When I turned 17, I decided that I wanted to be agnostic because it, I always felt like there was something missing for me in religion. So I mean, my mom, they professed Jesus Christ and God, but I always felt like there was something more and I've always been brought up in Koji churches So the Life Center was definitely intimidating for me, but I heard a lot of great reviews when I looked online So I was kind of excited to see if I can finally identify that piece that I was missing and I was just so excited to go I expected, you know growing up in America. I expected the typical church status, you know, you walk in and there's benches and then there's Jesus Christ or there's a cross, you know up front and then the pastor will come up and read off the Bible and give a whole in-depth um, sermon, I guess you could say, a lesson to the to the room about what it means to be a Christian and um, or whatever specific Bible verse they were ex are reviewing that day. One. This experience definitely, definitely made me expand my horizons when it comes to being more open-minded to Christianity. I can say that they do try to keep the church relevant as far as times go and things of that nature. Um, it was very easy to understand and I loved how much passion they had in the church and for um, their religion. I um, definitely can see that they really are advocators for Jesus Christ. So I can say that I did have a great time at this church and it makes me want to revisit um, my profession as being agnostic um so my experience at the church was i guess sort of what i expected growing up in america you know what to expect because christianity is sort of pushed on you all the time um we went in and uh, the pastor sort of did his thing and explained uh what he had so i'm um, going to the church i did expect um my experience to be what it was um me being a baptist christian um and growing up in that type of church I did expect all of those things. Um, some things that I didn't expect were like they sung a, a R and B song and they remixed it into like a gospel song, which was pretty different for me. But so what really stood out to me about the church was that uh, was how passionate everybody in there was about their religion. Um, you could obviously obviously the pastor and whoever was speaking was passionate, but you could tell how the people and um, everybody in the church they were paying attention and nobody was sort of straying and they really cared about what they were listening to and cared about the religion and as a so, whole. So going to other churches in my past um, I really didn't enjoy church a lot simply because it was so long but one thing I did like really like about this church because it is predominantly african-american but there there were some other ethnicities there is that how smooth it ran um, as soon as the choir got done, the pastor was walking up, or when they transitioned from praise and worship to the actual choir singing, you can definitely see the change in motion. Um, it happened very smoothly, and I think we were only there for about an hour and 30 minutes, so I really appreciated that they considered our time and made sure that we got a good word, and then we were out the door. Okay, so what was different um, about the church was that they were non-denominational, so that really stood out, and you could tell that there were so many different people that came there but they worshiped all in the same way which was really a good experience to have because like I said I was I'm a Baptist Christian so it's my parents are really strict about me going to just strictly Baptist Christian churches but um, going to this church it was really enlightening to see so many people there and worshiping in the same place for the same religion this experience definitely, definitely made me expand my horizons when it comes to being more open-minded to Christianity. I can say that they do try to keep the church relevant as far as times go and things of that nature. Um, it was very easy to understand and I loved how much passion they had in the church and for um, their religion. I um, definitely can see that they really are advocators for Jesus Christ. So I can say that I did have a great time at this church and it makes me want to revisit um, my profession as being agnostic. My biggest thing that I took away from this is uh, being a Hindu myself, um, we've got different gods, but at the end of the day, 
we're all trying to get the same thing out of it. We're all looking up to the same uh, God, and we all are trying to do right in God's eyes and just try to fulfill life to our fullest with God by our side. Okay, so my main takeaway is that um, at the service, they were really devoted to the people there, and they really cared about how the people took in the word of God. And my main takeaway was pretty much that I feel like I have to do a self journey to get myself back to where I need to be as far as being with God and building my own relationship with him again, because I was so used to doing that when I was younger. And I feel like now since I've had this experience again, it just gave me the opportunity to open up new doors for me and for my life and to have a better future with not just myself, but with God in it as well.